All right, so in this video, we are gonna be checking out the full details and animations for the upcoming Dokkan Fest Super 17 on JP, as well as his banner unit, which is this Dr. Jero and Dr. Mew. Now, obviously, it's been a while since we've had a Super 17 in this game. The last one was the Tech LR, right? Who wasn't the most impressive, in my opinion. Like, he's fine, he's fine, but I definitely feel like he could have been better. And before that, we had the AGL Super 17, the 120 lead. So we're definitely due for a relevant Super 17 in this game. But I'm sure one thing that a lot of us are still wondering is where is LR Kid Boo? You know, I really thought that he would drop for this celebration for the 8th anniversary. It made a lot of sense and maybe he is around the corner, but we're long, long overdue for that. You know, it feels like Super 17 is getting more love than Kid Boo these days, which doesn't make a lot of sense. But anyways, with that said, let's focus on the uh, 17 and the Doctors. And uh, first things first, we are going to watch the animations before we get into a breakdown of their kits. And uh, as usual, I haven't seen these yet, so you will be getting my initial reaction to everything. So let me just throw on some earbuds and also pause my music. Uh, there we go. And enjoy, guys. Damn, okay, so that was very clean, guys. That was very, very clean. Like, I wasn't really sure what to expect. Um, but yeah, those animations look great. Not like the most hype animations I've ever seen because, you know, Super 17 is not like the most hype character to me overall. I do really like Android 17. Um, but yeah, that's nice. That's clean. That's clean. That's all I can really say. Uh, this close-up of the Super 17 uh, at the end here is uh, really <laughs> is is just is beautiful, man. That that's a that's a handsome man right there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, man, I I really like them. I really like them. Uh, top probably ten animations in the game right now. I'll give it that. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the details now. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about the animations first of all and here we go uh, as always we are going to be using the translations provided by the homie Goresh so big shout out to Goresh for everything and let's start with the of course 17s first the android 17 and the hellfighter 17 their leader skill is combination or target goku categories key plus three hp attack and defense plus 170 percent and characters belong to the androids category, additional 30% uh, HP attack and defense. Now combination might seem like a new category, which a lot of people thought initially, 
but uh, turns out it's actually just joined forces. He uh, said that the uh, direct translation uh, from Japanese is combination, but it's actually joined forces for global, right? So uh, yeah, joined forces, target Goku, 170, and then 30% additional for androids. Super attack, raises attack, raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage. And then passive is key plus two, Attack and defense plus 100% at the start of turn and gains an additional key plus 1. And attack and defense plus 70% if all allies attacking the same turn are extreme class. Gains an additional attack and defense plus 70% when uh, performing a super attack. Performs an additional attack that has a medium chance to become a super attack. And then, uh, hold on. Yeah, performs an additional attack, has a medium chance to become a super attack. Performs an additional super attack. If there is a super class enemy for four turns from first appearance, chance to perform a critical hit and chance to evade enemy attacks plus 17% for each attack performed during the turn. Okay, so first observation, not a slot one unit. Clearly not a slot one unit because they get uh, you know, a lot more defense on their super attack. They also get more defense on the uh, super attack effect as well. They don't get a lot of defense, honestly, before the super. And I feel like uh, if you put them in slot one in some of the harder hitting events, they will be in some trouble for sure. But after they launch a couple of attacks, they you know will get the dodge chance. They get you know the raising of defense on their super, so they should get like decently good defensively. Not amazing, but decently good defensively for that turn. But uh, yeah, in slot one, I think they will have some issues. Uh, offensively, offensively, they are going to be doing a lot of attacks. They are going to be doing a lot of damage. They're going to be getting a decent amount of crits because of the buildup of crit chance for every super. So um, yeah, I think they're going to be very impressive offensively. It's just defensively, uh, not looking amazing at the moment, at least in this form, right? As Android 17 and Hellfighter 17. But from there, let's uh, take a look at the active skill, which is the fusion, of course, into Super 17. Uh, able to be used when HP is 70% or below, and five or more turns have elapsed from battle start once only. Don't love this. I gotta say, don't love this, because the HP restriction is not terrible, like 70% or below. It's the same as the STR uh, Namek Goku, right? So not too bad, but five or more turns on top of that, I just feel like it's a bit long. Um, I think four turns would have been more reasonable, but it is what it is. Uh, not the best condition, not the worst condition, just okay. Uh, Lynx, Brutal Beatdown, Android Assault, Shocking Speed, GT, Nightmare, Fierce Battle. Sorry, uh, Fear and Faith and Fierce Battle. And categories are Joint Forces, Target Goku, Androids. Artificial life forms, inhuman deeds, power absorption, GT bosses, battle of fate, and fused fighters. So that is the 17, uh, Android 17, and Hellfighter 17. Now taking a look at the Super 17, Super Attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn. It causes immense damage and greatly lowers defense. And then passive is key plus three, attack and defense plus 170%. At the start of turn, it gains an additional attack plus 170% when performing a super attack, and then reduces damage received by 34%. And for four turns from first appearance, reduce damage received by an additional uh, 17%, performs an additional attack for that. Wait, hold on. Performs an additional attack that has a high chance to become a super attack during the turn in which an attack was received, it gains an additional defense plus 17%. Per attack received, max of 170%. Uh, medium chance to perform a critical hit if there is a super class enemy, absorb key based super attacks aimed at this character, and recovers 34% of the damage received as HP if HP, if HP is 70% or less at the start of turn, reveals the uh, location, I can't read today man, the location of enemy super attacks of HP is 34% or less. So a lot to take in here. A lot to take in here. Uh, one thing that I do love is the fact that he's reducing damage received by, uh, let's see, 40, 50, 51%, 51% for the first four turns, which is amazing. 
And then, after that, he will still have... I believe it's 34%, right? I think it's 34% damage reduction remaining after the first four turns. But during this first four turns, while he has the 51% damage reduction, you are able to build up the defense on his passive here from taking hits, right? So ideally, in those four turns, while you have the 51% damage reduction, which is very high, uh, you'll take the 10 hits required to build up this uh, defense fully. And by the time that this is fully built up, you'll still have the remaining 34% damage reduction on top of a very high defense stat, which is going to make him a really good tank. I mean, I don't know the exact numbers here, but just based on what I see on paper, I think he is going to be one of the better tanks in the game when he's fully built up. Uh, you could argue that 10 attacks to get the 170% additional defense is a lot, but depending on the event, and most likely you're going to be running him on a harder event, right? Uh, there's going to be a lot of attacks, and you can feel pretty safe about putting him in front of a ton of attacks because he also can absorb key-based super attacks. So um, I guess it depends on the enemy, but if there are key-based attacks coming your way, then he'll actually eat those and it'll actually heal you instead of hurt you, right? So uh, that's also pretty dope. Um, one thing I don't like is the fact that in order to see enemy super attacks, you have to be below 34% HP, which is really low. That's very, very low. It's good to have this nonetheless if you're in like a you know desperate situation, right? You're almost dead and you need to see the super attacks coming, but I just wish the restriction wasn't so restrictive. You know, I wish it was like 50% or something like that, but what can you do? So, um, yeah, uh, as far as offense goes, as far as damage goes, he is going to be hitting really hard because, uh, yeah, this additional 170% attack on the super is crazy. Uh, he's greatly raising attack as well. Uh, he's getting a high chance to crit. He's getting additional supers. Um, yeah, he's going to do a lot of damage. He's going to be doing a lot of damage. So he does like a little bit of everything. There's a lot of things going on here. But overall, I think he's going to be very good defensively, very good offensively, um, you know, with some utility as well with the healing, the, uh, you know, revealing of enemy super attacks at very low HP. And uh, yeah, in this form, he is definitely one of the best token best units in the game. I just don't love the fact that it takes you quite a while to get this form, right? I mean, the androids aren't bad. The 17 and 17, not bad, but not amazing, right? And you really want to get this Super 17 as soon as possible, but it does take a while, right? 70% HP restriction and then the 5 turns as well, so don't love that, but uh... Once again, it's not terrible. And the Lynx, uh, Brutal Beatdown becomes Fuse Fighter. Everything else remains the same. So that is the Dokkan Fest Super 17. Uh, I do think it's an amazing unit as a whole. There are some issues that I did point out, but um, overall, very, very impressive from what I can tell. Now, before we go, let's quickly take a look at the Doctors here, Dr. Mew and Dr. Jiro. Leader skill, target Goku, category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, super attack, greatly raises defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and passive is attack and defense plus 150% at the start of turn, attack and defense plus 100%, when performing a super attack, target Goku, category allies, key plus 1, and attack and defense plus 30%, and gives target Goku, category allies, an additional key plus 1, and attack and defense plus 20% for 2 turns, when collecting two, or sorry, collecting three or more key spheres, if there is an enemy whose name includes or contains Goku, Youth Ginyu Jr. excluded, gain an additional attack and defense plus 150%. Guard activated against all attacks and seals all enemy super attacks if HP is 70% or higher at the start of turn. So uh, from what I can tell, this entire portion here with like the 150% attack and defense, the guard, the ceiling, all that stuff is contingent on you facing a Goku enemy, right? So if you're not facing a Goku, then you don't have any of this last portion right here. But otherwise, uh, amazing support. Um, I don't think they're going to be that good 
offensively or defensively unless you're facing a Goku. Uh, but the support is amazing. The support is very, very good. I mean, it's key plus uh, two attack and defense plus 50% essentially for target Goku uh, category units, right? But one thing that kind of sucks is that they don't fit under the 200% leader skill of the Super 17 because they're not in the androids category, right? So that's kind of unfortunate. But aside from that, you know, a good looking banner unit. Um, they don't really mess up these banner units too badly in general. There are exceptions, but these days they're all pretty good. Links are Prodigies, Thirst for Conquest, GT Scientist, Nightmare, Fear, uh, Fear and Faith, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Target Koku, Join Forces, Terrifying Conquerors, and uh, Battle of wits so there you have it guys those are the two new units once again a big shout out and thank you to the resh for the translations and uh guys let me know what you think about both of these units i think uh uh super 17 is really good i think super 17 is awesome i just wish that it was a little bit easier to get the transformation and um yeah the doctors they're just fine. So yeah, that's all I got to say for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.